students today's topic is english learning basics and introduction let's start hello dear students in my today's video i am going to talk some basics of english language learning since all of you know english is a global language the hold on the language is a must in today's world so your knowledge on english can we know anything and everything so now you are students tomorrow you will complete your academics and will appear in job interviews then you need to have good communication skills along with fluency of the language so in my today's video i am talking very familiar things you already know right from your school days but it happens so that we need to sometimes we forget or tend to ignore all these simple things and we make silly mistakes while using the language in reading writing and speaking so to have a proper and appropriate uses of the english language we must not do such mistakes and for that this video is a kind of reminder how to use english in a proper way hope you will enjoy learning let's have a look at today's video so why english why do we need to learn english as i have already said let us sum up the things in a few points english as a functional language helps performing communication better and effective both nationally and internationally english helps students to acquire the english language as a skill that is nowadays essential for professional as well as personal developments english enhances the capacity of the students to learn and use english in an appropriate way with various skill based exercises and hands on practices inside and outside classroom so these are some of the points okay we cannot cover all the things but for students these points are important and significant so let's have a look at the four essential skills of learning a language so to learn a language fully we must have these four essential skills what are these skills listening reading writing and speaking first we must be good listeners to understand and learn the language where do we listen the language in tv news channels movies radio or videos okay so wherever audio of the language is available we must listen to them carefully all right then comes reading reading english books articles poems anything printed or available on the internet okay we should grow a habit of reading to understand and learn the language then comes writing after getting knowledge gaining knowledge from listening and reading we should start writing the language anything you feel your ideas about some topic any paragraph you start from something very small 
start something from very small then you can write good English so English writing needs different essential techniques we will be talking very soon and finally speaking speaking nowadays very much helpful not only as student but in your future life as well so after listening reading and writing english well we should practice speaking english and we must not hesitate while speaking many students coming from vernacular mediums feel nervous or hesitate in speaking the language even though they can read well they can write well but while it comes to speaking they feel nervous first of all in speaking we should remove that part okay we should be very confident and no doubt we may make mistakes while speaking but with practice those mis mistakes can be removed but first we must start somewhere so all these skills are very essential to learn the language well i will focus on these five basic points of english language learning reading writing grammar vocabulary and punctuation and here uses so let's have a look reading we have been talking about reading different texts printed or available in internet but most of you are probably unaware that there are some reading techniques also some of you might know but most of you might have no idea that reading also needs some techniques so here we are discussing two reading techniques skimming and scanning skimming is reading rapidly to get a general overview of the text document article and the like for example we can get some prehand ideas from reading the first few lines of a particular text for skimming we need to preview overview and review the text this helps in getting an overall main idea of the text so simply what is skimming getting the main subject or theme of the text from an overall reading overview then what is scanning scanning is reading rapidly to find specific facts so skimming is reading the whole text and scanning is reading one particular paragraph or point to find out specific things or facts for example while answering questions we need to concentrate on a particular paragraph or point in the text in doing so we skip unnecessary parts as a whole so you have or suppose you have finished reading the chapter now you need to answer the questions already you know where you might locate the answer so you look back to that particular paragraph that is scanning to find your answer so these are two techniques of reading you need to remember from now onwards clear writing techniques 
so unlike reading reading is a simple process you just need to read the text or book or chapter whatever and need to remember the facts but writing is far more complex than reading you have to acquire so many things or knowledge before writing okay so all these things i'm mentioning here you have come across right from childhood you have been reading and studying but it happens so that you may tend to forget or ignore the simple common things we need to remember while writing so this is a kind of reminder for you all to refresh your mind or understanding for writing good english let's begin with parts of speeches then i'll go to correct sentence constructions knowledge of grammar uses of appropriate vocabularies and finally uses of appropriate punctuations starting with parts of speeches all of you know already but let's reflect again noun name of a person place thing pronoun replaces noun to avoid repetition of the noun verb talks about action state of being adjective qualifies a noun or pronoun adverb modifies a verb adjective or another adverb preposition so shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun with another word conjunction joins two words ideas or phrases interjection expresses a strong emotion look at sentences apart from your knowledge of sentences as affirmative negative interrogative and exclamatory there are four other types of sentences you need to know these are simple sentences which contains one subject and one predicate signifying one complete idea for example i like flowers compound sentences that contains two or more clauses with a coordinating conjunction for example i like fried fish but she likes roasted chicken then comes complex sentence that contains one independent clause followed by a supporting clause for example i could not complete my project today because there was a student strike in my university and finally compound complex sentence which is a mixture of both compound and complex sentences i am giving an example she loves to visit market because her father buys new dresses for her and she enjoys it okay then let's move ahead uses of grammar so grammar itself is a huge area to explore i need to explain each and every topic of grammar some other days but you have ideas regarding all these topics isn't it you have exercise practice grammar in your higher secondary level articles a and t tenses past present and future narration direct and indirect voice changes active to passive passive to active uses of auxiliary or modal verbs and finally transformation of sentences so all these topics need more attention which is not possible in my today's video it's just a reminder that we need to use all these grammatical topics appropriately to write good english 
then comes building vocabulary vocabulary is a list of words that a person has in his or her knowledge so research says that one particular person generally acquires 20,000 to 35,000 vocabulary throughout his life and adult course and how to build your vocabulary vocabulary means the words nouns we use every day we learn from suppose from a new channel from a newspaper article from a novel from a poem okay so we learn new words and we need to remember those words for our future uses and how we can build our knowledge of vocabulary by listening by reading learning and writing so already you have got the ideas of listening reading and writing how to learn learn from all these three components and apart from that my suggestion is that you consult a dictionary every day and try to learn 10 new words every day okay so dictionaries are collection of words with their meanings isn't it so it's better if you keep a habit of consulting your dictionary nowadays many apps are available from dictionary apps are available online and offline to keep it handy okay so there is no full stop for learning you can learn anywhere and everywhere to build your vocabulary and finally last but not the least uses or appropriate uses of punctuation marks while writing we use punctuation marks every time but many of us have no idea of proper uses of a punctuation okay some of the punctuation marks we use all the time and some are less used but we need to know all these 14 punctuation marks which are commonly used in english grammar let's start with full stop ends a sentence question mark used for interrogatives exclamation mark used for exclamatory sentences comma separates two words semicolon separates two clauses colon extends the main idea or sentence dash brings sudden changes in thought or idea in a sentence or separates two sentences hyphen joins two words or parts of a word bracket clarifies or extends the main idea meaning or word there is square bracket and braces okay apart from the same functions apostrophe used as position or contraction quotation marks used for a direct narration and citing original ideas from a text and finally ellipses which are three dots or three stars asterisks we can say used for omission from a text to avoid the length of the whole poem or sentence so these are all for today in this video i have talked about reading writing grammar vocabulary and punctuation these are very basic and common knowledge to learn English knowledge hope you have liked this video keep watching this space subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching